Kayla, I'm back with my quarterly stats video and this is the second one that I've done and I read a total of 13 books, um, I'll have a wrap up uploaded already yet if you want to watch that to see which books that I actually read and my favourite book of all of those, well or at least the highest rated was Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. It was a five star read for me as always. It's my favourite in the series apart from the first one. Um which has all of the nostalgia and the feels but this one is the most entertaining plot wise. It has the most to it in that sense. And I read a total of 1,343 pages in April, I read 862 in May and 1,061 in June, bringing the overall to 3,266 pages. And for each month, the star rating average it was 3.8, 3.5 and then 3.7. And the overall star rating that I've figured is 3.68 and the average book length was 251 pages and there are many places that they are set and Hogwarts is in I believe Scotland there was New York, Russia, Auschwitz, London, Georgia and Texas as well so a little bit of all over the place really I believe Auschwitz is in Poland I think uh, I should really know that but I should have really just put Poland um, the, for the genres I have fantasy children's fantasy biography thriller and apocalypse horror and I also have the release date and years which go from 2005 which jumps to 2014 2016 19 2007 2008, 2019, 2015, 2001, you get that picture. Um, and the male to female ratio is six female authors and seven male. So it's 53% male and 46% female, which is better than the last stats video that I did where it was all female. Um, and there is only one of them new, which was from the Lumberjanes Volume 1, but I can't remember her name, so I'm not going to even put it there. And formats for each were three audiobooks, three paperbacks, and seven ebooks. And the percentages for those is 23% each for audio and paperback, and the ebook was 53%. So I read a lot on my Kindle during the past three months, surprisingly. Um, I didn't think I'd read quite that much on Kindle, if I'm honest. I thought there would have been more audiobooks and paperbacks, but apparently not. And I hope you've enjoyed this video today, and thank you for watching.